guys, so this is going to be a review for the um, new Wet n Wild limited edition. I picked up the Walking the Red Carpet. There was two um, palettes in the little like limited edition display. There was also a couple, I would say about four or five nail polishes, which I only picked up one. Um, and it was like the more purpley one. Um, I didn't pick up the other palette that was more in the purple family because it re really reminded me of the other um, 8 pan Wet n Wild um, palette, the one that's believed called Petal Pusher or something. So it looked really similar to that. Um, so I picked up the more neutral one, which if I really don't need any more um, neutral eyeshadows. I just don't really need any more eyeshadows, period. You saw that my last um, haul, while I hauled this, um, I had picked this up a couple of like weeks ago when um, before I, the whole lint thing, which if you saw my previous video that you do know that I kind of cheated and did purchase one thing. Um, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. And before you ask, yes, I did cut my hair. Um, I have another I think I uploaded another video, I have a hair in my mouth, um, a video where I already have my hair short. I'm still, right now, I just kind of got out of the shower. It's kind of air drying. Not really styled it today. Not really in the mood for it. Um, I kind of forgotten how, not time consuming, but when you have your hair short, like you really, really have to style it. <laughs> and sometimes I get lazy and I don't want to, but basically did an A-line. Um, yeah, I didn't go super short where they had to shave like the back of my head because that's just not I'm like, no, but anyway, um, I picked up, like I said, the, um, walking the red carpet, which was the most neutral of the two comes with the ever so useless little double ended, um, brush. So the palette looks like that. And honestly, after I have swatched them, it looked really pretty in the display. Um, even with the kind of more chunky, glittery colors that after swatching, I'm like, I don't know about those couple colors, but I mainly picked it up because of this side and I was right. I really do like the colors on this side, which I have already swatched. And the color side that I actually like is, I don't know if I can get so close, it's on this side. And then the colors that I'm like, eh, I don't know about those colors are on this side, especially that gold yellow one. The other ones are doable. Um, they're like copper, gold, kind of bronze, but that one is like straight yellow, gold, chunky glitter Halloween color that I don't think I will ever use but the other ones are doable but to me they're just more like I don't know kind of fall colors the brow bone is okay but I mainly I've been using um this side um and it you know it comes in the like special edition packaging which if you picked up the one from last year they do this whole like white packaging because usually their eight pan palettes come in like eight, like a, a black case. Um, I am happy with them, although I'm not like, oh my God, was it worth the hunt that I did for these darn things or for this thing? Totally not. One day I just happened to walk into Walgreens to pick up my son's prescription and there it was, even though like, two weeks or so before that when I had heard about this darn thing through a blogger, um, a drugstore blogger that I follow on Instagram. And I was like, okay, let's find this. So I kept stocking CVS, Rite Aid, um, and Walgreens, which Walgreens is where I picked it up. And usually Walgreens, I believe that's where I found this last year. I'm not completely 100% sure, but it was just there when I was not looking for it. Um, that has got to be my one complaint about um, Wet n Wild 
is they keep putting these limited edition displays, eyeshadow palettes, nail polishes, whatever. And they only put like two of the same color, like two of each. It's like, why? They make it so hard for you to find the display in the first place because it's not where the regular stuff is at. They put like a special display for it. But it's like, why do you make it so hard to find these darn things? And I mean, I've never even checked to see if you can order them online, but I just don't like paying for shipping. So if I can avoid that factor, I do. Um, but overall, I guess I am happy I am keeping it. Um, like I said, that yellow, chunky, yellow glitter. I don't think I will ever be wearing that. But overall, I am happy with um, this side. I am wearing it today. Will you be able to see it? Probably not. Um, because again, I'm recording on my phone. Not the best quality. So um, if I had to compare from both of these, um, I would almost say I was most happy with the previous year one than this one, just because even though this one has like darker colors and I don't really tend to gravitate towards like darker colors, if I had to choose, I would definitely, definitely like give this one a thumbs up versus this one. I would give this like. I don't know, a six or a seven, just because I'm only using one side. Um, the others I will be able to use except that hideous yellow. Um, but overall, and I believe they went up also, um, I had a coupon, but they're usually $4.99. And Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid always has like 40% off, you know, those kinds of brands. Um, the day I picked it up wasn't on sale, and I believe it came up to like $5.39, $5.49. So I do believe they went a little bit up because um, they were $4.99, which is still a good deal. I mean, if you're going to use all of the colors, it's still a pretty good deal. $4.99, $5.39, whatever for eight shadows and a convenient little thin um, palette. So yeah, I mean, those, like I said, those are the swatches. Um, pigmentation wise, I think, I mean, I'm still pretty content. What, uh, Wet n Wild is probably the most, like, they stepped up their game as far as, like, drugstore eyeshadows. But, I don't know. It almost seems like they're lacking a little bit. If you saw my previous, um, little quad, um, not even quad, it was like, five shadows that I ended up returning because I was like, why am I going to keep this? I'm not going to use this. It was super chunky, like chalky and just not worth keeping at all. So, um, has good pigmentation. I definitely, definitely recommend you using some kind of eye primer, which I do, um, just because I have really super oily eyelids. So I would definitely recommend you doing that. Um, just because I'm looking at the colors and they just kind of seem like the pigmentation has kind of gone downhill a little bit. Um, not that I'm saying or, you know, saying these are bad quality because these are probably like the best quality eyeshadow drugstore wise that is out there. Um, and I have a couple, a few of these, probably if not all of them. Um, so I mean, pretty happy overall, but. Yeah, that is my review mainly on the walking the red carpet. Um, would I recommend you going on a hunt and going and looking for it? I guess if you're really, 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 really interested in it, then go right ahead. But like I said, if I would have seen the colors and known what I know now, I'm like, I would have maybe not gone hunting like I did, but overall I'm happy I have it. I'm not going to return it. I am using it and I'm enjoying just the one side. So hope you guys enjoyed my mini review, almost going on 10 minutes. Um, and yeah, so I have quite a few of um, 
reviews coming up. So if you saw my last haul, that I had been hauling stuff for God knows like a month or so. No joke, I have a basket that I have been collecting just stuff and containers and boxes and packaging, which is honestly driving me crazy because I like to, when I get something, I buy something, I literally toss the packaging. I don't want to see it. Um, so it's kind of driving me crazy, but I've been keeping them for the sake that I want to be doing these reviews. Haven't been doing them so often. A, um, my 15 month old has been keeping me super busy. Um, last week I had my son, his eardrum erupted. So that was quite interesting. I had to go to the ER and be there for about three hours with two little ones. That was not fun. And then, um, yeah, I'm still... I'm still thankfully, I'm dealing with my skin issues, which I've been doing, you know, my detox thing, not drinking soda and drinking tea or detoxing and water. And thankfully I have been doing something that my skin's finally kind of healing, I think. So I feel a little bit more comfortable being on camera because that can be kind of a factor when you're in front of a camera. So I hope to get back into a routine where at least I'm putting up a video or two a week. Um, so like I said, I have quite a bit, a couple things um, to review. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.